What's going on everybody? Welcome to CS5 Gaming, and I got something really cool I want to show you. And no, it's not Freddy wearing a stupid elf hat. It's actually a new mask that I came up with. Now I call this the Spike Mask. Alright, let me give you a little backstory on this particular mask here. So my buddy Undead Survivor, he was hosting a live stream, and he was asking the audience for weapon ideas for future weapons that he would like to create. So I was throwing a few ideas out there. So then my other buddy, Journal03, jumped in and mentioned about using a hockey mask as a weapon so you can headbutt people to death. I really like that idea, so I added in, well, why don't you add some nails or spikes to that so you can do some severe damage? And we all loved that idea. We thought it was a really cool idea, so Undead Survivor had asked Journal and myself if that's a mask that we can create. So I immediately started working on it. And this is what I came up with. Now, as you can see here, it's just a standard hockey mask. I went with dingy white with a simple chevron in the middle. Now, the damage on the side, it kind of looks like it's starting to scab or something, and I really like that effect, so I just went with it. Now the nails that I used for the spikes are just hardened masonry nails that you can use for like cement board or things like that. Now I was going to go with a larger nail but I figured just a one inch nail would actually do the job. Plus it would just be a little too heavy to actually wear. Now one of the downfalls about using nails in a mask is you actually come in contact with the nail heads. So they rub against your forehead and your cheek. So a quick solution what I had done was I actually took some foam weather stripping and I just lined it on the top of the mask so there was a barrier between the nail heads and my forehead. So yeah, this has actually put me on a path of mask ideas that I want to create. So I'm really happy I was actually able to jump into that live stream and get such good ideas from fellow YouTubers. So yeah, I want to give a special thanks to Undead Survivor and Journal03, two awesome YouTubers. I'm going to leave a link to both of their channels in the description below. Please go check those guys out. And after being part of that particular live stream, it kind of makes me want to do live streams myself. So what do you guys think? Should I do live streams? It would be a really great way for me to interact with my subscribers and get some really good ideas for masks. Let me know down below. Alright, I hope you guys really like the mask because, you know what, I had such a blast making this. I plan on making probably a few more of these, and maybe I'll even put some up for sale. Alright, until next time, this is CS5 signing out, and I hope to see you in the next video.